comes to sleep. I wasn't crazy about the actual subject matter. I just assumed that it was their daughter and then and that um, the lack of emotion was a part of the way they had to survive, that they had to sacrifice their own child and they just kind of knew they had to do it. Um, I, don't, I can't imagine where they would have gotten a child otherwise. Uh, and the long drawn out scenes, I felt like it was trying to create some tension and make it a bit too dramatic. Like it was shocking enough as it was that I, I didn't think those needed to be drawn out so long. Um, but I think they were trying to focus on, on the shocking nature of what they were actually doing. Um, but I found it quite disturbing. Yeah, well, I, I think that was the kind of the point to it. Um, I think a general comment is I found the film way too abstract and postmodern and, and something I can't easily understand. And I'm thinking, first off, why would you do that to your own daughter? I think I'm trying to figure out the reasoning behind the actions that they did. And um, I, I saw this was a war drama piece. So I don't know how the war got into this film. So I think my take on it is I didn't like the abstractness. It didn't have a coherency of the film. And um, I just want to find out the understanding of the actions of the film. I, it's not clear if it's his daughter or not. I don't think it's clear in the movie. I don't think it's totally clear that it's their daughter. If it was, it was that's a whole different film, but it's a whole different conversation. So I, I found it very cohesive yeah. and uh, and relatively. I liked the distance in between the what was happening, the emotional distance. It allowed me to be able to enter it and be, you know, horrified. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, and I thought that was a good thing. And uh, yeah, uh, for what it was the genre, and, and I thought it made sense what happened, on my view, and I just, yeah, I found it very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is, I, I know this film is not for everybody, but there's something very, for, like, there's something very riveting about this film. The main thing that I noticed about the film was that uh, the shots were really drawn out, and that kind of made it seem almost boring in a way. The story wasn't too bad, but I found that the you know the specific scenes of him sharpening the knife um, were just too long. Uh, the shots were just too long, and it added to kind of a. I just didn't like the film based on shots. Like another one was when he was cutting her arm off. That wig lasted way too long, and I think I think it just could have been improved by cutting down times of shots and speeding up the narrative. You can also argue that against that, saying it added to the intensity and the sound design was. I don't know. Like I've done, I've been doing this for over five years. I don't, I don't, I don't. In terms of the theme and the context of the film, I, I, I've never seen a better sound design than this film. It was pretty extraordinary. So I think it, that, that sort of like those long shots kind of led to the intensity and kind of like you know the uncomfortable feelings that we have in our stomachs during this film. Did you think that the subtitles were in the box? I just didn't. Being British. Seem hard to understand, but I don't know. <laughs> well, it could be. I, I, when I saw the film, I didn't have subtitles, so it could have been the pro the screening copy they sent to us. Just pass it over there. It could have been the screening copy they sent to us that they decided subtitles. The, the filmmaker, go ahead. I thought it was really interesting that it's a combination of the editing, I think. Um, we never really have any shots of the whole space, and so you get all these close ups, right, where we long for some kind of perspective, and it made me feel. I was in this really claustrophobic space, and especially when I had to listen to those sounds for a really long time, it actually generated a kind of anxiety or tension. I wanted out, and there was no getting out, and I wondered yeah. if that might be a deliberate um, I, Honestly, I think that's the point of the film. I think that I didn't see what caused them to be in that situation. Yeah. <coughs> and if, if, if you had some, some incident that took place, and force them in it, then you kind of get a better understanding of it. Yeah, it's, there's two different arguments to that. Like sometimes you just want to land in the film, especially in this kind of medium. You just land in the middle and then we can figure it out ourselves. Or some people just want kind of like a distinct uh, beginning. It depends on the viewer. I actually, I don't normally like, uh, I don't usually watch horror films, but like you said, I thought the um, sound effects were very good. I whispered to my mom, I said, um, sound effects. <laughs> I love it because. Yeah. You know, um, being someone who does like apocalyptic, apocalyptic, yeah. I didn't need much of imagination to guess what might be the situation. 
but I, I was really, as some other people said, I would love to know how they ended up in a situation where it would require them eating any child, regardless if it's their child or not. So I think they did pretty well. I found the, some of the shots a little bit long, like some people said, but um, overall I think they did pretty good. I know. I thought. 